what we're looking at really is underlying endothelial health. So when you get that endothelial layer, that inflammation that gets damaged, cell membranes get weak, then oxidized LDL basically comes in there and sticks. So it's not that LDL is bad, it's when it gets oxidized. So if it get, it's getting oxidized, it's underlying hydrogen peroxide ion-based issues, and that's causing a lot of these problems upstream. So all you're looking at here is underlying inflammation, oxidation, starting everything, and then you're looking at your actual lipid panel. So it's not so much what the lipids are on your blood work, it's more how much inflammation and oxidation you have. Then if you have a poor lipid environment, it makes that that much worse. So in reality, the numbers we're looking at here for cholesterol, the actual numbers are total cholesterol should be like 220 to 240. I always say 200 to 250, because if you're close to 200, you're good. If you are too below that, then this, your, your cell membranes, they are so weak. They are weak and then they're permeable and that's what causes ferroptosis, which then is just a different way to cause more cells to die. So if you have a total cholesterol, 300, 400, 500, hop on a statin or hop on a citrus bergamot or one of the other many compounds out there. Then from there, the kind of blanket numbers I like to use is HDL 50 plus and LDL 100 plus. And it's going to change based on your total cholesterol, your genetics and all that kind of stuff. But the closer you can get to those numbers, generally the better and healthier people are.